One of the cool things I got out of this book as we've been going through it was when James was talking about specifically using visualization as a way to influence and change and affect your lucid dreams, which of course is something that I, you know, I, I make use of, but I tend to think about it more as like intent and expectation if I'm trying to, you know, make some object appear within my lucid dreams. But for me, when, when I think about visualization, I kind of end up just defaulting to my hypnagogic meditation approach where, you know, I'll be sitting back once these hypnagogic images start coming up, I'll kind of just let them flip through. And then if I want to uh, introduce some level of control into it, I'll kind of lay, lay down some seeds of, you know, the type of images I want to come up. And then as similar images start to pop up, I'll just kind of chain that over into another more, um, you know, more accurate image of the kind of images I want to pop up. And then eventually when I find one I do like, I'll just try to hold on to that image and, you know, solidify it, uh, solidify it and build it out. So um, I was lucid in this dream. And, you know, at first I was doing the regular shit I always do where I'm just like flying around trying to trip out different dream characters and stuff like that. The environment seeing me fly and stuff like that. And then uh, also before going to sleep, I was playing the crew motor fest and I kept doing this one like off-road race where you're hitting all these crazy jumps and you're kind of going down this mountainside and there's these, like winding roadways going through so you got to like dodge the vehicles as you're jumping down this mountain and so um I was in a similar setting within this lucid dream as well so I'm up kind of on top of like a hill or a, you know really big hill mountain or something like that looking down I think oh great you know I'll just go zoom down and kind of run a similar path like I was doing um in the game so I'm doing that a couple times, I just keep teleporting myself back up to the top after I get down to the bottom. And then it dawns on me to try this whole visualization thing. And then like my, my default view on it was thinking about my hypnagogic practice. So this is something I've actually never done in an elusive dream before. But I simply just started to, you know, intend to kind of have those same type of random hypnagogic images come up that, you know, come on when uh, hypnagogy is first kicking in. And I just kind of let like random images appear in front of me. So it was kind of where like the dream broke down a little bit. It got a little bit less sharp. And I just started seeing like these different environments and people kind of just like being overlaid over the dream scene I was seeing. Like it was like you was it's like I was flipping through pages really slowly and just kind of having like a kind of translucent page pop up over um, or image pop up over the scene that I was seeing in the background. So as I was doing that, I started to use, you know, expectation to kind of lay out specific types of environments I was trying to lean towards. As I saw an environment that was kind of closer to what I wanted, I would kind of use it as my anchor point, wait for another image to pop up that was more along the lines of what I was trying to get to. And then eventually I got to an environment that I thought was cool, you know, solidified the dream, did a stabilization technique, and then basically entered a new dream environment, teleported, however you want to think about it. So um, it was pretty cool, something I definitely want to be making use of more in the future. But I think specifically next time, if I can remember to do this and dream incubate this idea well enough, I want to try to do it to specifically just make something appear you know within the dream you know i make some kind of awesome race car appear so instead of flying down that mountain i could like you know race down like i was doing in the video game or something like that so um, i'll keep you posted on it um yeah and until the next video keep the lucid dream in practice legit